I'm going to show you how to put these rivet holes in right now. Okay. So we're kind of in luck because all of these have to be absolutely identical. I'm going to just click on this one. Okay. So click on one at a time. If you click on two, this doesn't work. Click on one, just the bar. Now you see this is highlighted up here, front or back. Okay. Or you can highlight this one. Doesn't really matter. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say edit in context. This is an extremely useful thing to do. Right click on it and edit in context because you will notice when I edit in context, you can see the rest of my robot, even though look down here at the bottom. You're actually the highlighted tab is the front back one. So we are in the diagram for front back now, but we're editing in context so that we can see the rest of the robot. Okay, this is really powerful. At the same time, you can get into a lot of weirdness doing this, okay? So we're gonna do this and I'm gonna show you what happens here. That's kind of cool. All right. What we want to do is we want to get these rivet holes in the top of in the top of our piece right here. There we go. Let me get centered. So I want these holes right here, but I don't want to have to measure where all these things go. Oh my goodness, this would take me forever. So here's what I do. This makes it really nice. I'm going to sketch on the top of this. This is where my holes are going to be, is right on the top of this bar right here, right? This nifty thing right here, use project. Um, you, it's use, but it's project convert. It's the use button, okay? You can get it you just typing you or just know what you use up here. When I come down here and I highlight one of the, now notice, I'm going to zoom in here for a second. I can highlight either this circle or this circle. It doesn't matter. If we had a telescoping hole, it would matter which hole that I picked, okay? Because the top one might be bigger than the bottom one if it was telescoping. In other words, it moves in like this, okay? In this case, it's the same from top to bottom, so it does not matter. So I'm going to choose one. I'm going to choose this one, this one, and this one. And notice as I do this, it drops a hole directly down onto my sketch aligns it perfectly with that rivet hole. I didn't have to measure anything. I didn't have to dimension anything. I didn't have to put it anywhere. It is automatically there for me. That's how easy this is. Isn't that nice? Okay, oh crap. Here we go. We're gonna do this over here. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, we're gonna go to the other end. So we got more of these to do. Look at this. Got another one. Boom. Boom. You're all doing the sound effects with me, aren't you? I can tell. You're all on mute, but you're really doing the sound effects. Here we go. Boom, boom. Bang. Do a bang for the last one. Okay. There we go. Boom, 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 and then bang. Okay. All right. Now look at that. Our drawing. We have all the holes drawn for us. Look at how fast that was. That's because we did good planning. Okay. Now here's what we're gonna do. Now we've got, we're gonna rename this rivet holes for gusset. Okay. Now we got that right here. Yeah, look over here. Look, oh, oh, this is really important. This line right here means that there's an in-context reference. That's really important to know where those are. I don't do them frequently because you can actually get into a lot of trouble doing things in context between multiple parts. You can actually start getting circular references in place because you can do it in one and then in the other and then back to the first and then back again. It can get you in a lot of trouble going back and forth doing these, so it's really nice to know when you've done them. This line right here tells you, this little arrow tells you that you've got one going, which is fine for this one's no big deal. Now we're going to take this, we're going to do like we've always have for, with rivet holes, we're going to remove them. We're going to, I'm going to go up to face because that is the correct way of doing it. And up to this face. And now we've got our rivet holes and, and that was hardly anything for us to be able to do that. Okay. All right. Now we've just got a few more rivet holes to do and we are done for tonight. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. look at it. Look at up here. We have to go back to our assembly up here in order to get rid of those lines. Now it integrates, our holes are actually there. You can see through our model, you can see that there are actually holes there so that you know it's actually placed those holes in our diagram. Now we've got a few more to do because we have to edit in context 
one of these side ones. And by the way, when we did it in one, because it's the same over here and it's the same, it automatically put the holes down here for us. So all the holes in the diagram are gonna be done once we get this, this bar done too, okay? We're gonna edit this in context too. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna edit this top one. We're gonna do a sketch on the top one. And then we're gonna zoom in here again. We're gonna choose this use. Then we're gonna drop that right down in there. Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna go to the top edge. Boom, 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 bang. We're gonna do the bang, right? Okay, all right. I can hear the humor, I know you're all laughing. Okay, all right, now we've got our gusset rivet holes. Rivet holes for gusset, okay? Again, we've got them nicely labeled so we know exactly where stuff is. It's looking good. We're gonna, again, up to face, remove, remove, rivet holes, up to face, go in here, oh, oh. I can't, I can't highlight it. I can't highlight it because this end one is in the way. How do I get past this end one? I can't get to the... Okay, so I could do this. I could go in through this hole, this hole in the side here, and actually highlight it, okay? That's one way of doing it. The other way is to... Don't extrude right now. Go back to your assembly. Go back to your sidebar. Now you don't have anything stopping you. Highlight your rivet holes, do your extrude, remove, up to face, select that face, and your holes are in there. Okay. Same operation we've done quite a few times. Okay. Now we've got all of our rivet holes in for the entire drivetrain.